Hello Crystal Souls, hope you're doing amazing. Today's topic is going to be Hello, delivery service, here are your packages. Thanks, bye. As you can see, today's topic is going to be your love delivery for singles. If you're new to this channel, by the way, welcome. If you want, you can join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. If you're looking for personal guidance, by the way, you can book a reading with me, so you have all the information down below. Same thing if you want to follow me on Instagram, where I try to go live, answer your questions, and also do personal readings and general readings for the people, so. Okay, so now it is time to discover your mail, your delivery. Let's see. So for this reading, you can pick your pile. So here is package number one, package number two, and package number three. And when you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. If you need to pause the video and meditate, please do so. So let's start with the package number one. So in this one, you are going to find all the pass cards. In the box is going to be the charms and stickers. And in the letter, this is pretty much all the message from this future person. So let's start with the cards. So the first card is the Ten of Pentacles, which is pretty, pretty positive because the Ten of Pentacles is related to prosperity, foundation and family. So this person you are attracting is actually wanting to build something strong. The Ten number is about completion as well. So this is announcing a relationship that is going to make you feel more complete, more supported. And this is someone who has enough to offer, definitely. The next one is the King of Pentacles. So this is someone that is going to be very wealthy, very secure, and this is someone who is going to be able to support you as well. With the crown being here, this is someone that is um, very connected to their career. They may think of their career as their priority and they want to work on this so they can be able to provide to you. That's something very important for them. It's, it's kind of like the emperor um, in a way, a leader that is here to provide to the family, the father figure. And so I believe you are attracting someone like this, but someone that has enough or will have enough to give to you. And that is going to be very generous. That's the vibe as well. The next one is the Four of Wands. So from this card, I'm kind of getting soulmate type of connection or destined relationship because when I see the Four of Wands, I'm thinking of 11-11. You know how the Wands are forming 11-11. So that can be a sign you see. Uh, I'm seeing celebration on this card and this can also be announcing preparation for a celebration. So that can be a birthday party, that can also be announcing that you are going to be this person at a party, but that can also be for the future. So planning to marry each other and finding harmony in this relationship. This can also be someone in your circle. And if not a friend or, or your colleagues or people that are studying with you, that can be your soul's circle. With a castle, this is also connected to protection. So this is someone who's going to be, I mean, supportive and protective. That is very connected. But celebration and having fun is very important. With all the colors I'm seeing, with the yellow, it's all about joy, happiness, um, and also connections and creativity. With the violet, this can be the vision connected to the, the third eye. And... With the orange, I believe this is again about creativity and the root chakra with the red color, but that can also be someone who is very passionate. Um, and I feel this is very important for you to, you know, find excitement when you see each other. So doing activities that are, that are going to be fun for you too. And the four is about stability. So you want to build a relationship that will be stable and Honestly, this is commitment here. This is not player. This is not for fun. You really want something deep and strong that is going to last for a long time. And then we have, again, a king popping. So this is the king of cups. The king of cups is very mature, very emotionally balanced and available. And with the show appearing here, this is also someone 
who is going to not be afraid to show their authentic self when you are around. Because this is their, their true personality they want to provide. They, this is their true energy they want to provide to you. With the mermaid, that can also be talking about someone that is very seductive, like very gorgeous. With a long view, that can also be related to them looking at you from the distance and kind of waiting on their own island, let's say, before making a move in your direction. But this is someone who is emotionally available. This is someone who is a good provider as well, very giving, very loving, powerful, definitely. And this is someone who is wanting to find a peaceful relationship. They don't want drama, they don't want complications, they just want things to go with the flow and to be easy. Um, on the back, I am seeing the dolphin, so that can also be related to telepathy. So when you think about something, they may think about the same thing. Or when you think about the person, then you can actually feel. I mean, they can feel you thinking about them or, you know, anything like this. I feel like there is some type of spiritual connection and transfer of messages or energy. So pretty much we have earth signs with the pentacles, uh, fire sign with the wand and water sign. So the next card is yearning, longing for someone, undesired separation and pinning. So with the long view, this could also talk about this, a long distance relationship. So this person looking at you from the distance, but I feel you will want closeness, you will need that, I believe, as well. Because you can see all the storm on the background and the ship about to actually drown. Uh, so this is kind of describing to me that the atmosphere, if you two are separated, is going to be very heavy. You're really going to feel alone, you're really going to feel like something is missing in your life. And, and like the other part of yourself is missing, your other elf. And this person is going to bring you that completion, which is very connected to the 10 number. We have 40 here, so that can also be numbers you see. The four is about stability, just like you could see on the four of ones. And zero is about your circle. So that can be very connected to this energy. Stability, finding stability in your soul's circle. But I feel you will need to be with each other and to make a move. Um, or that can be him making a move because I feel like the masculine especially, or that can be the masculine energy within, your, within yourself as well, is wanting closure, is wanting to connect. The unseen. Too much is hidden from you. And that can also be related to you not seeing this person being interested. So you feel like, you know, I'm going to end up alone, nobody's wanting me, nobody desires me, but this is not true. Trust me, you have someone looking at the distance, wanting to be with you, longing for that closeness, and they are not wanting to be separated anymore. They are wanting closeness, they are wanting intimacy as well. Um, on the ground, I'm kind of seeing gold, shells, and that can also be related to treasure. And I feel one of you is especially staying in their bubble or at home. They may not really want to go outside to socialize that much. And they're pretty much just waiting for this person to enter or to manifest. And I feel this is announcing that you will need to also get out of this, this bubble because you need to find your own, like your perfect match, but you need to free yourself from that. Because otherwise, I feel they, they may feel like you are not ready. Because the King of Cups has been working on his cup, meaning he has been working on himself. And now he's finally ready to be in a relationship. He's ready to give abundantly to someone. Which is why it's all about celebrating together. This person, if your cup is empty, is not going to come and see you. So you need to, to actually show people... And, and kind of show what you can give to people. And with the unseen, that can also be related to you not really wanting to show your, your, your whole. It's kind of like you kind of feel safe when you do not have to, you know, show your authentic self sometimes or show your, your past or talk about the past and show your wounds. But I feel like this is something that may be revealed 
at some point so the person can understand where you're coming from. Why do you feel a certain way? Why do you act a certain way? Why do you speak a certain way? Which is very important. And again, four number. Maybe you see four, four, four very often, which is actually announcing your spirit guides, I yourself, are providing you the help that you need so you can manifest the results that you want. So this one is called Happy Place. And I like that because, you know, with the castle being here, happy place, popping, that can be about wanting to live with each other. And on the original tarot with the Ten of Pentacles, you can see actually the house and family and, you know, the scene happening. So that can be very connected to the image of what this person is wanting in a relationship. They want to live with you, they want to have a place, they want to share their time with you. They just want to stick around you, pretty much. So this card is announcing this. Love, happiness, emotional well-being as well, and just fun. You can see the scene is, is just very bright, a lot of colors, like pinkish colors, blue color. Pink is for me related to childhood, so fun um, as a kid, kid type of energy. And with all the candies, definitely that energy here. But this can also be related to this love is going to be tasty. And I'm feeling like with the, um, the swing, this can be announcing having fun or a need of fun when it comes to this relationship. And the blue color is about the throat chakra. So this is communication and creativity. With the rabbit appearing here, this is also connected to things moving fast for you and you feeling supported and feeling lucky to attract this person because the nine number is related to um, perfection. So that means you are attracting your ideal, your perfect match, pretty much. And so this is asking you to have fun and to be happy and to reside in this energy so you can manifest even more of this and manifest it faster with the rabbit being here. And the rabbit is connected to good fortune as well. So luck. The next one, so on this one I'm seeing 32. And by the way, the numbers you see can also be related to uh, like numbers you see or um, the age of the person, anything like this. So the three is about evolution, two is about relationship. And this card is called wish. So everything you wish for, is about to become real. You are manifesting that. And you know, with, with you embodying the Medusa, this reminds me of you actually grabbing the things that you want. And it's kind of like you are wanting to save this little prince. So, and I mean, you had two kings right there. I, f I heard that, so maybe I need to talk about this. Um, for some people, you have two people being interested. To be with you but you will you will need to make a choice you will need to know that's the one that's the one and they look alike actually on these two cards you know you need to know exactly who do you want to be with but i feel like this is also talking about the energy of that person you will choose because that will be more satisfying for you but yes the smedza is just reminding me of you know like a shock when you are going to meet the person you're going to feel like the thunder is hitting you in a way, the lightning is hitting you and this is just making you fall in love instantly. And so you know that is the one I want to be with. But be aware the universe, your guides are supporting your manifestation and this support is going to make you attract this person, this love effortlessly. This is also a card very connected to the law of attraction. So try to see the energy is spread, your current frequency, your current energy, your core frequency. So that is going to tell you a lot about what you are able to manifest with this current feeling that you feel. Because you manifest out of who you are, what you believe and what you spread in the universe. Then this card is showing you security. So this is something you are looking for in a relationship, I believe. And this is very, very connected to the energy that you could see with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I mean, you have two King 
energy in like one person so this is someone who is going to offer you a lot more than what he was asking for pretty much so security is going to be easy and feeling safe around the person is just going to be obvious and and easy for you with the frame on the wall this reminds me of maybe the vision that you have for the future the vision that you want to create with this person and i'm kind of seeing that as news the journal the news so that can be announcing good news when it comes to creating a family or building a committed relationship on this card you can also see the window and this is an open vision an opportunity for you to get the introduction of this relationship and with a curtain being very subtle this reminds me of a revelation Something is going to be revealed to you and that can be this person's identity if you don't know or this can be this person's romantic feelings for you if you still are a bit doubtful. The next one is dance with me. So that can be someone who enjoys dancing or is just wanting closeness physically and you know to just dance with you, to have fun, to go on events together, uh, on parties together or just outside and traveling together because that's the vibe here. I feel like they need that closeness, they need some experiences together and they may be very very sad to be apart if this is the case, if this is actually the current situation. So they want to dance with you, they want to be around you. And with the flowers supporting them, that is a symbolic that growth, evolution, love, beauty is supporting you. So you need to blossom and allow yourself to blossom in this relationship. The dominant color is also yellow, so they want to shine, they want to feel warm, they want to feel joyful and have fun with you. It can also be that this person is maybe doing the same hobby, connected to the art especially. So I'm saying dance. This can be the art in general. I'm seeing businesses, especially with that energy. I heard neighbor, so that can be a neighbor for some of you. And speaking of places, um, I'm going to be showing you bottles that are going to show you the type of place in this, this person is coming from or where you two in the future will want to travel to. So the first one, especially Australia, is popping in my mind, but that can be somewhere next to the beach, next to the desert. Oh, that can also be the kilometers, because you can see them appearing. Maybe that's the amount or like the number that separates the buff of you. So 88 kilometers. The next one is the mountain area. And that can also be related to the energy of the person. This is more like fun, solar type of energy with this one. This is someone with strong, courageous, grounded, just like the mountains. And with the trees, this is someone who's wanting growth in a relationship. They want to also improve themselves in a relationship. The next one, I heard Hawaii, so that can be the place, or that can be a place where you want to travel to. But a place that is romantic, next to the beach especially. That can be California as well, or just a beach area. So again, someone that is very warm with the ambience the atmosphere. So now I'm going to be sharing a couple cards to see what is coming for you. So first of all, I'm seeing the, this couple kind of protecting each other with all the leaves. The leaves are actually a symbol of protection for me, growth and nature. So that can be related to the nature of this relationship, being very protective, being very secure, because that is what you are looking for, um, and very stable. Some, something that is going to grow with time. It's like you investing in this person is going to be your best investment for the future, for your love. But yes, I'm seeing security, I'm seeing comfort, being with each other. And with green and blue appearing, the green is related to the heart chakra. So this is related to the love and blue is related to communication with the throat chakra. 
I'm especially seeing summer, honestly, popping on all the cards. Like summer vibes, summer, 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 definitely. Maybe winter for that one with the mountain. But I feel like for the majority of you, this may happen in summer. Same thing, summer. So maybe going on dates, maybe going in natural places, at cafes even, like drinking juices together or just staying at home and, and you know, working on whatever you you want or this can be reading books and and just spending some time together i think is what you two are looking for um but yes natural areas may be a place where you feel more at home or more connected to yourself so that's the energy here and it's kind of like even if you two are working you still you still want to be with each other and if not being present, that can be texting each other. So it's like you are next to the person in a way, energetically. The next one, closeness, cuddling, hugging the person. And that, that scene is kind of reminding me of, you know, romantic people wanting to see the scenery, see the sunset, the sun just around about to say goodbye, that is the scene here. Like, you may be very very romantic, or this person may be very romantic, and these little things may be something you two enjoy. Same thing with you two going to the beach, traveling maybe to the mountains. I feel like you are really wanting to connect with the moment and to have fun together. But you don't need so much activity even though that can be related to having you know different activities and celebration but i feel like if nothing is really happening just being present with each other is enough yes and just staying at home cooking for each other waking waking up next to each other this can also be announcing that this person is going to be a good cook or you will be a good cook. <laughs> um, but this may be something the other person enjoys. And that, you know, with the castle, that can also be someone who has their own place and so you want to visit them and sleep over. Welcome back, darling. So yes, the vibe is definitely about a couple living with each other in the same place. night out yes i mean that's the vibe going on dates celebrating life together you know so going on dates night out dancing again so maybe you are interested about dance or maybe this person is into dancing that can also be the case Press your lips on my neck. And I'm kind of seeing this as doctor and nurse, so maybe that's also a message for some of you. Or maybe role plays or things you enjoy with intimacy. So that was it for the cards. I'm going to be using... Um, I think I'm going to be continuing with the message. With the messages in the envelope. So let's see. Okay, so, oh yeah, I was actually picking some, some cards to see the energy connected to zodiac or just star connections. So I have Virgo. So that can be the zodiac sign of one of you. I have Phoenix. So that can be talking about rebirth, power, fire energy especially. So maybe a fire sign. And the bird, Columba. So in my opinion, that is very related to air energy. And I heard peace. So maybe that's also connected to the symbol, the symbol of peace. On this one, I'm seeing the star, so that can also be someone that is very successful, because I'm seeing this kind of like the pentacle, but also success. 
success and them being recognized. This is more sun energy and this one is like the sun and the moon, kind of being one. My heart is behind you, even to the end of the world. My heart is behind you, even to the end of the world. And you can see the, the star falling, the shouting star. So this is for you to actually make a wish, because any type of wish you are going to make is about to come true. And this was very connected to the Four of Wands as an energy, because and with the wish card as well, because you could see it on this one. So wishes coming true. Meeting you is my most beautiful accident. Meeting you is my most beautiful accident. Remember what should be remembered and forget what should be forgotten. Alter what is changeable and accept what is unchangeable. Do you like bread or cake and the bakery? French vibes here. And you can see the, the pillars here, so that can also be related to this person being supportive. Once we had nothing but everything miss time so maybe missing each other missing the time you spend with each other i'm seeing this as directions as well so once we had nothing but everything every minute of milk tea time is worth cherishing So now the box and the stickers and the charms. So we have L, F, W. And I heard love forward. So that can be about taking action, moving forward when it comes to love. And that's the vibe here as well, because you can see the dove. So this is announcing movement, needing to fly, but also this is connected to peace and love. And the bat. That can also be someone who is a night person. Kind of, I'm kind of saying this as Batman in a way. But this is also connected to freedom. The pentacle is appearing, so yes, someone with abundance, as abundant, successful as well, who is going to have enough to provide to you. The star, so that can be someone who is famous, successful, who is shining bright and being an inspiration. This can also be someone who is doing sport, and we saw dance appearing multiple times, so that can be related. So this one is kiss, kiss, same thing. I think this playful energy is definitely what I could see with the cards. I also saw that in the card, you know, having a date, drinking juices together, so that can be related. Okay, yes, I just love how I was preparing the cards yesterday and not tuning into the messages because I want to discover it with you. And everything is so connected because with the dandelion pieces, as you can see, this is related to you making a wish when you blow on them, right? So this is announcing that wish coming true. Become one, beautiful, gentle. So this is someone who's gentle and wanting to seduce you, to get closer to you. I'm sorry too. So that can be someone who's not afraid to, you know, recognize they did something wrong, that they are sorry. They really want to be honest with you. That can be announcing sleeping together, I'm seeing music, so that can also be listening to the same music or listening to a music that makes you think about them, or they will do that, do that as well. And the last one, AAA, so trying to connect. 
So that was it for this fitting. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this fitting and this one was accurate for you. If you could recognize the energy or someone even, I would love to know. And if you're new by the way, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. I will see you on the next one. If you want, you can discover my other readings. I have general readings, love readings. Just make sure to take a look at them. And yes, take good care of you and I will see you next time. And now the second pile. So in this one, you will have a letter with messages, loving messages. In the box, it's the charms and stickers. And in the package, you have all the tarot cards describing the person's energy. So let's start with the cards. So the first one is the Nine of Pentacles. So this one is related to someone who is going to provide a satisfaction, who may be very independent and who has plenty to give. And this can be emotionally, this can be with their time, their attention, their care, their money, their love. They're just very, very giving. And this is because they possess enough and they treat themselves with that much care. So that's why they're very wanting to share they're really wanting to connect with people and they are not afraid to give them all and the nine number is also related to um, someone that may be a perfectionist and someone that wants to build something perfect which is why i honestly think this is someone who's going to be very good at giving because they want you to feel secure and they want you to feel like that's my ideal that's my perfect person i really enjoy to be around the person i really enjoy being in this relationship they just want you to be feeling whole and complete the next one is the page of swords so this is related to someone who is very clever, someone who may be very good with their words and very chatty. They may love to talk, they may love to express ideas, uh, like genius things they discovered. They are just very bubbly and fun. I can sense the energy as well. I mean, I'm channeling this one, so I'm sure you can feel it through the screen and hearing this energy. But yes, this is very, very bubbly, fun and, and just very exciting to discover with a person. So someone who is wanting to connect, especially with their thoughts and ideas, because that's the sword energy and the sword is connected to our mental plane. And this is more related to the physical plane with the pentacle. And that can also be someone who is a earth sign or air sign, especially on this one. With the pillow and the sword, that can also be someone who is going to provide to you. You know, when sometimes you offer something, especially in old movies, you could see when they bring something valuable and precious, they put it on a pillow. And so that can also be announcing this person wanting to provide to you something precious and kind of putting the forms when it comes to offering you something. So the next one is the chariot. So that can be cancer can survive here and this is also announcing triumph, motion, things moving fast and someone that is very ambitious. That can also be someone who is doing well with their career and this is also showing you two different directions here. So that can also be related to feeling, feeling like you need to make a choice when it comes to what love or what type of person do you want to be with or even two people you have to choose from. Which direction do you want to explore now? Which direction is going to be best for you and that is going to support you? Because I feel like this is more connected to your energy and your need to make a choice, a need to make uh, the right decision when it comes to taking the right direction for this love to happen. But this can also be talking about transportation. So maybe there is some distance between you and the person. So that can be talking about moving in their direction. So maybe that is also talking about for some people, this is not two people presented here or two people in your mind. This is more about do I want to be still working on myself, on my career maybe? Do I still need to be alone or am I ready to go this way with this person? That can be the case. 
because I believe for some this single adventure is just very exciting. For some you may need to continue and just to you know enjoy your time alone but for some people and for the majority you're ready for this relationship. And this person is really, really determined to make that happen. This person is craving for that connection. This person is going to take actions in your direction. You can see motion as well. So, I mean, you can see it. Transportation, riding in one direction. And then on this one, this is someone who is wanting to, you know, move in your direction to connect. And so that can be, if this is a long distance relationship, this person traveling your way if you are more of the feminine. Now, if you are more of the masculine, this may be your role to travel to the person and also show this person that you care and that you're ready to give it all and to give your everything to make this relationship happen. Show that you have enough to give to the feminine, especially because I feel like this person, the feminine, may be a bit distant and maybe questioning a lot of things at the moment. And so this one is just wanting to feel secure and wanting to be sure, okay, that is not a player. That is not someone who wants, you know, something from me. This is someone who is genuinely wanting to be in love with me. Like this is someone who is genuinely in love with me and wanting to create something strong with me. This can also happen in cancer season. I'm seeing two swords, so air signs, earth sign, and especially cancer, so water. What energy. So endurance, keep going. <laughs> this is why, honestly, I don't feel like you need to question this direction too much. Just be prepared and ready for what this relationship is bringing your way. Because this is someone who is going to be perfect for you. Keep going. That means go in that direction. That is the best person for you. And this person is going to offer you stability with the four number and evolution and growth with the three number on this card. And with the motion of the wave, this is also announcing this, this motion, change, and also change when it comes to direction. Endurance can also be related to, you know, you having the strength to make things last. The next one, Coral's Wisdom. Colony, delicacy, fragility, work that are created over great periods of time. Yeah, so this is definitely about investment for the future, working on something so that can actually bring uh, a positive result with time. Fragility, so that can also be a symbol, you feeling maybe fragile, and this may be why for some you may hesitate. Do I really want to be with someone? Am I strong enough now to be with someone? Or is it someone that is going to be able to understand my fragility and to be caring with me so I can feel comfortable in this relationship. I feel like that's the message especially. We have 31 appearing, so that can be related to three, growth, like I shared. Number one, new beginning. And I feel like this relationship, this person that is being presented in your life is actually here to make you grow and make you start over, to work on you know things that you wanted. This is going to be someone that is going to support your dreams and support who you are and the changes you are wanting to make in your life. 23, so that can be the age as well, or maybe numbers you see. The two is about union, three, evolution. I said it three times. So maybe you see three, three, three appearing, nine appearing, one and two. And this card is related to rescue. So this is pretty much the universe helping you, providing you all the help that you need, all the support that you need and assistance that you need so you can manifest a result. This reminds me of someone here to direct you in the right direction with a B being here. And with the dice, this is also related to you playing your game to perfection so you can be a winner in this loving game. I know this is very symbolic but it's pretty much doing your everything, playing your cards well so you can manifest the best result and be a winner in this relationship. But this is not you playing against this person but instead playing together. 
Okay, so this one is related to retreat. For some people, and I feel like this is related to those that are kind of being like, do I want to be with this person or this person? You will need to let go of someone because being too greedy and kind of playing your cards on two games, this is not really going to be satisfying and this is not really going to lead you in one um, in, in one place. You need to make a choice. Who do you want to be with? If this person is distant from you because that can also be another message, then let them go because they are not meant to be with you. For some people, they are not seeing that someone in, is going in their direction and the one they are loving is just wanting to run away. And if you play the um, runner and chaser game, it is time for you to stop because this is not providing you anything. It's pretty much you are alone in this relationship. And you can see this princess is just not satisfied. This is just kind of like you being someone's prisoner in a way. And you feel also trapped in this relationship and connection, which is not satisfying. So we have 18, so that can be related to the age. One, new beginning. Eight is about reflection. So you need to reflect on what you are wanting to experience and what type of person is going to be offering you what you need and what you like and deserve in a relationship waiting for your return so some people are waiting and this can be waiting for the person if not a return if you have never met this person but you have a crush on someone that can also be related to you waiting for this person to notice you and with the spirit on top of the roof that can also be related to your spirit guides angels or your higher self even trying to help you to connect with this person your window is open the shutters are open so that means you have a clear vision and a clear perspective when it comes to who you want to welcome what is your ideal what are you looking for in a relationship and with the spirit on top of the roof the roof that means this is some spirit that is seeing the situation from a higher perspective which means this person the spirit or someone that is guiding you towards someone because that can also be the case sometimes the universe send our ways people that are going to be the messenger and so this person can be telling you i see that this person is right for you or i see that this person is not really caring about you this person is not seeing you this person is just distancing themselves from you so waiting for the right person wait only if you know something can happen sleepless nights and that can be related to you two sharing especially at night time um, talking to each other because that that may be the time where you two have more free time to talk to each other I'm seeing sport with the drawings this can also be art this can be photography um, what else I can see writer with the book but that can also be related to the story the love story you want to tell that can also be someone who is texting you or calling you before going to sleep but there is a, um, a strong connection, especially at night. On this, on this drawing, you can see a couple kissing. So that can also be maybe your vision board or maybe you use art to manifest. And so this is pretty much what you are currently manifesting. I'm kind of seeing this as a maze and one direction with one arrow. So that can be related to you or some of you feeling lost in the maze but now spirits are providing you one direction they are influencing that direction so you can be with the right person which is why it is very important for you to pay close attention to anything you may receive and they talk very subtly that can be with images that can be with affirmations you see um, that can be with symbolics numbers so pay attention to that. Same thing with music. Sometimes you have a music and lyrics popping in your mind and they are telling you something. So pay attention. Now the next cards are going to be showing you the places um, maybe this person is coming from or where you two are wanting to travel to. Or well, that can be your place as well. So the first one, especially the desert area, especially in the US. 
that's what I'm getting. Same thing, desert. And the cactus are a symbol of adaptation. You know, they grow even though there's not too much water, too much rain. They still adapt and grow beautifully. And the mountains, maybe waterfalls next to where this person lives. Something natural. But that can also be related to this person's energy. So solar type of energy with the desert. Someone who is able to adapt and grow no matter what the situation is. And with the mountain, this is someone who is grounded, peaceful, in harmony with life and nature, with themselves. And so this is why they're just very peaceful and happy and strong, especially. They may be very courageous as well. And so the next cards are going to be couple cards. So let's see what type of relationship this relationship is going to be. So someone supportive. Someone supportive and is and who is wanting to be around you, wanting to maybe play around sometimes and just say, you know, crazy things and so you, you may be mad for a little while. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting here. So someone is just kind of wanting to annoy you, but it's in a fun way. Maybe riding together, traveling can also be the case because you can see this boy on the broom flying and this one with a motorcycle. So, and same thing with the, um, the bee. So that can be related to you enjoying activities or exploring together, being excited travelers. I feel like that's the energy from you too. And with the flowers, this is also um, desire to grow and bloom together. I mean, definitely, you can see it. And this can also be related to, let me see, I'm seeing summer season with the chariot of cancer season. So at the end of June and July, but this can come whenever you are ready. It doesn't really matter. But I'm seeing spring here, spring, summer, especially on these cards, to be honest. Maybe winter on this one as well. So spring season, confession. So kissing each other, um, starting to, you know, make a move to be romantic. Because I'm seeing this girl blushing as well. So that can be like your first um, interaction or your first date. Intimacy is going to be important. So cuddling in bed, waking up next to each other. This can also be someone, or you can be someone that is introverted, because I'm seeing the cat. The cat is for me a protector, or just talking about this introverted energy. Secrets. So sharing secrets together. I feel like you will trust the person easily. <laughs> and so I'm always not looking at the guard, I'm sw I swear. Um, so yeah, I trust you. You will trust the person easily and then look. Yes, that's the vibe. <laughs> Happy memories. And on this one you can see... And it's funny because that's definitely traveler vibe. You know, having backpacks, pack backpacks and then uh, taking pictures wherever you go. So creating memories, collecting memories as photographies. Sleep next to me. So, same vibe here. So that was it for the cards. I'm now going to be reading the messages from the letter and then the charms and stickers in the box. So let's see. So for the first cards, I was actually picking some to know um, the zodiac energy or just the energy of the person connected to constellations. So first of all, Yursa Ma Major, hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Pronounce it. Um, so bear energy and the bear to me a protector. And related to, you know, how teddy bears, it's related to child or childhood memories so that can also be related scorpio so that can be someone with scorpio in the chart 
And this one, the lynx, is related to Leo. As you can see, I was writing it. So that can be Leo energy. And also the cat, again, is very related to protective energy. So for the messages. You came and then left, leaving only the stars. You came and then left, leaving only the stars. I'll think of you every step of the way. It is well worth of falling in love with someone, even can keep up with the unavailable damage. Yeah, you have to just be prepared for this relationship because it's not going to be happy days every single day. You need to also adapt. You need to understand how the person feels. So that is talking about this, being ready. Define your life with the action you take, the love you give and the memories you make. It is not the gift that counts, but the thoughts behind it. Guess for you. And that can also be places you two will visit. So maybe buying a gift or receiving a gift. So it is not the gift that counts, but the thoughts behind it. The aroma of coffee always cheer me up. Maybe a coffee place. Would you like some cookies for tea? Beautiful. And now the box. <laughs> this is good. So maybe that's... I think it's related to, you know, being intimate. Or just like that Leo type of energy. Oh, you can write Barry as well. So maybe that's, you know, a nickname or that can be something you to enjoy to eat. I'm saying dance. That can be performance, practices as a symbolic. Or finding balance as well. Good morning. Thank you. So that can be things you to say to each other. I love you. That's beautiful. Yeah, someone opening, <laughs> opening the shutters and be like, wow, what's there? <laughs> so that can also be when you open your eyes and when you wake up next to the person, you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm just so grateful and happy because this person is gorgeous. What? <laughs> This is again very connected to Alice in Wonderland. Hopefully you can see it, but the, um, the necklace is the clock. So that can be about things moving fast because the rabbit is also connected to things moving fast. Are you angry? Yeah, I feel like this person is really going to be attentive to how you feel, especially. I love milk tea and I think, yeah, I saw tea right there. So that can be related. So I love milk tea, and this one is kissing, like sending a kiss. That can also be emojis you use, by the way. For the charms. So I'm seeing the, the turtle as protector, someone that is very strong. Um, that can also be related to earth and water connection and things moving fast when you are in your element. Because you may know they swim super fast in the water. Um, but on earth they actually walk slowly so that can be related with a starfish this is again talking about adaptability and movement because they stick to the surface to actually make a move so adapting this is announcing change with the dragonfly and that can also be related to travel transformation as well the peacock I'm seeing this one as beauty all the time it's kind of like seducing the other person, showing them your true beauty. And with the lollipop, again, very connected to 
childhood childhood energy this is what i was getting with the bear and also with the other cards so this is it for the reading i hope you like this one let me know in the comments down below what you think if this one was accurate if you could see yourself in the reading by the way for today this can be a name a place as well anything like this i feel like this will make sense you will see the letter and be like that's the one for me <laughs> all right so i wish you the best take good care of you and if you want you can discover my other readings i have dinner readings love readings so make sure to check them out and i will see you on the next one So now the third pile. So in this package, you will see tarot cards in the letter messages. And in this one, you'll have the stickers and charts. So let's start with the cards. So the first one is the Queen of Pentacles. So this one is connected to someone who is financially stable, someone who is very nurturing, very giving, and someone who is very practical. This, honestly, I heard boss lady, so that can be the case. Maybe this is your energy, maybe this is the person's energy, but I feel like if this is your energy, this is what they like about you. They like that you can make a success, they like that you can make a legacy, you know, um, and so you're pretty much showing the possibility to the person. You are very inspiring, you're shining bright. Um, and if now this is more of the person energy, this is what you will honestly like about the person. Someone being a leader, someone being a good inspiration to other people. And this person living the dream or building that business or building that career out of what they like to do and being abundant and living happily is just very, very satisfying for you to notice and to see. The next one, honestly, for all the groups, I feel like this is all about you guys manifesting someone stable, abundant, and that is going to be a good provider. Because the three of pentacles, this one is related to preparation, learning, skills so and i'm seeing this as collaboration as well when it comes to work so that can be for some you can be falling in love or they will fall in love with you and this can be someone who is working with you or this can be someone who is here to teach you because i feel like with the skills and learning this may be very connected to school like studying with each other or working with each other especially the three is about evolution and growth. So that can also be someone who is going to be playing a big role and inspiring you when it comes to your career. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. The energy is just so, so powerful. This is someone powerful. This is someone with enough to give. This is a good provider. This is someone who is destined to be with you. This is fate. This is fate, my friend, because the wheel of fortune is always moving, is always providing. And that fortune is bringing you everything you was dreaming about. Because you can see the house, you can see money, um, you can see magic here. I'm seeing this as the wand and also health. Health, and I feel like this is also related to divine guidance. A wish coming true, sun, so this is related to happy, a happy life, happy energy, warmth. This is commitment, this is learning, teaching, lessons, growth, love. I mean, this is exactly what you dream about. And you are provided this. It's kind of like you meeting this person is also going to awaken that magic. Honestly, for this group, I feel like you are attracting someone in your soul group. No doubt about this because this is fate. This is destiny. And all the cards coming next to it is just going to confirm the energy, to be honest. So be ready for that. And the 10 is about completion. 
So you are going to feel complete with a person. You're going to feel fulfilled. You're going to be feeling understood um, and supported and loved for who you are. You won't have to feel the need to pretend. You won't have to, you know, kind of adapt or change the words that you use because I feel this person is just ready for you and ready to welcome everything about you. The next one is the Knight of Cups. So this is someone who is ready to confess to you, ready to propose to you. This can be related to marriage or just wanting to finally start a loving relationship with you. I'm seeing the move especially coming from the masculine. Hmm. The shark is underneath and I'm kind of seeing this as danger. And this one is on top. So that can be related to him. You know, not not wanting to play it safe anymore. This person is wanting to, wanting to take a risk to be with you. And this can be taking a risk to be rejected from you. But you know what? They're just going to make it happen. They're just going to give themselves a chance. And this person, the card, is related to you attracting someone romantic and that is connected to the ideal person. So this is why I'm not seeing a, re a rejection here. This is the best person for you. This is someone you was waiting for for a long, long, long time. And now just seeing this person coming your way feels like completion, true satisfaction, empowerment even with the queen or king type of energy. But I really like that. Really like that. And because this person has enough to give and enough love to give especially, I'm not seeing you kind of being like, you know, your cup is your cup is so full, I'm not going to take it. You're too good for me. No, take it. You deserve that. You deserve this person. Divine sensuality, making love erotica. Okay, so that may be something you to enjoy, to be intimate with each other, to discover new things with each other. With the 22, this can also be related to a number you see. So the two number or 222, two, two. 22 can also be the age of the person or maybe a date, um, like a, a date that will be important for you to, to meet or for you to, to start a relationship. But making love and being intimate is actually something you two will enjoy. Um, and, and love to explore, especially together. With the roses, I'm seeing this as romance. You want to keep it romantic. You want to keep it um, as something pure and something that is going to make you feel more deeply connected during the act. Time and tide, oceanic spells and rituals. So that can be encouraging you or maybe telling you this person is actually doing that and manifesting you with, you know, techniques of manifestations, with the law of attraction, with affirmations, anything like this. I feel you are attracting this person if you don't know the person because you are asking for this energy and embodying this energy. And you are pretty much sending the universe a clear message. I am looking for love. Send this person my way. And with the ray of the sun, this is the introduction of the energy. The wave is also bringing that motion. So be ready to receive because this is the right time for you to connect with each other. So work on your manifestation. This can also be related to, I heard that, so maybe I need to share that. Um, meditations you listen to to manifest a soulmate um, or just someone you love. I also have a soulmate meditation by the way if you want to use this one. That is empowering the energy and making you meet the person in that realm. Because when you meditate you actually explore with, with your energy and that helps you to already connect with this person that is coming your way. Of course, if you want to manifest a soulmate, I also have a twin flame meditation, by the way. So if that is calling you, that is also a technique you can use, but you can use drawing, singing, any type of art is very powerful to manifest. Any technique that is calling you or just being in this in this present moment, feel it. Feel you being with the person, cuddling, kissing, going on dates, close your eyes, see the scenery, see the person and feel it deep down because your emotions, when you are out there already emotionally with your energy, 
that manifests everything faster. And the microphone is, is showing me one, one, one. So this is a new beginning. Beautiful. And we have 18 on this card. So that can also be the age or a date. One is about new beginning. One, one, one. <laughs> this is so connected. And the eight is reflection and meditation. Interesting. Because <laughs> I heard meditation and I wasn't paying attention to the number, which totally makes sense now. So maybe meditation is helping you to manifest it faster. 20. So this card is related to karma. So the energy you spread, who you embody is manifesting the same energy. Your reality is your intimate reflection. That is who you are, that is what you believe in, and that is what you think you deserve, that you attract. So that is teaching you that. Your reality is your karma. So that is pretty much announcing the fate and the destiny that you are manifesting at the moment with your current energy, current mood, and current programming in the subconscious mind and in the conscious mind, but especially the subconscious mind. This can also be related to past life, to be honest. And this is what I thought with destiny and fate. You are manifesting again someone from like your soul family. So someone that could be a soulmate, um, someone that actually dated you in other lifetimes. And this is time for you to recognize in this life. You can see the toys. So that can also be someone who's very fun. With the book, that can also be related to fate, a new story, a new chapter, something your soul wrote connected to destiny. That is something you cannot rewrite. That is something you need to experience. And with the rabbit being here, this can also be announcing things moving super fast. And with the motion of the wheel, yes, things are going to move fast. Same thing with the motion of the wave. And this person being determined to make it happen. So I can see it. The next one. So this card is called victory. So this is Triyam for me. You know, everything is broken down. This is like a battle that happened. And I feel this is connected to um, like past relationships, past experiences, past connections with people. Because I feel like this is very connected to your past relationships. So these connections were teaching you a lot about yourself, your strength, and now you need to use it. Not to fight, not to defeat someone, but instead to defeat the inner demon. Because, you know, that's a toy. That is a story you tell yourself. This is not alive. All right? So this is pretty much telling you to start to detach yourself and to win the game, to win when it comes to, like, your mindset, manifesting maybe misery around you, brokenness, emptiness. No, the story is over. It is time for something new. It is time for you to experience something exciting. And that can be a reminder because you could detach yourself from the story because you could heal from this brokenness and found that strength and victory and this positive attitude being the energy for you to move towards something new. This is what is being brought to you. It's kind of like a reward. After, and this can be karmic relationship, I heard that. After maybe this karmic relationship or this painful relationship, because sometimes soulmates also bring some type of teaching, which can be very difficult. This was necessary for you to level up. And this can be something that happened in your 80s, 20s or 30 years old. That is what I'm getting, especially. Home. And this is what you could see on the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe that is the next step. Maybe you want to buy your own house. Maybe you was, you were investing um, to get enough money to get your own house. Because with the Queen of Pentacles, that is someone that is in independent. That is someone who is growing money right now, that is being successful, who has enough to provide. And so they want to get their own, their own house. If you have your own house, that can also be related to you meeting this person at home or meeting them in their home. That's the message. Oh, and I heard maybe you will feel at home when being around the person. Wishes come true. So make a wish. 
you can see the the shouting star on the background so this is to empower your wishes you can see this girl finding clarity with a lantern and the man cutting some wood so that can be related to hard work with the wood and this is pretty much this reminds me of the hermit card someone that is very intelligent someone who was searching for answers insights and that can be about searching for answers when it comes to soul connection maybe your past life i heard a knock so spirits are saying yes for some of you that's the message so you was awakening for the majority of you spiritually and this is what pushed you to finally meet the soulmate or the stunned relationship because now it is time to make your wishes come true to make this ideal person enter your life you are present this one for a reason and this is for you to feel at home maybe as a spiritual perspective you know when you are around a soulmate or around a soul you met in another lifetime you feel complete you feel you feel like you can be yourself with a person and i feel like that is very connected to the energy of this reading now the next cards are going to be talking about the places maybe this person is coming from or you are coming from or plan to travel to so the first one i'm seeing this you know at the dunes being next to the beach so maybe the beach or a desert area that can be the scenery so this is a lake i have the bridge the bridge is for me a symbolic of like meeting each other halfway and this can be related to distance between you two but finally coming closer so maybe travel if this is distance in the physical or that can be emotional distance but now it is over or that will be over because you are ready i'm seeing autumn season on this card autumn season 10 can also be october i think that's connected to the month if i'm not wrong but this is water energy with a cup um pentacles the earth sign but after i have um, a letter with zodiac zodiac appearing so that can also be giving you the messages when it comes to zodiac signs but if they don't they do not pop it it doesn't really matter this is just more information all right so the next one when i'm seeing these i'm always thinking of asia so that can be a country in asia especially and i'm seeing summer season on this one summer autumn mm, let me see yeah especially these two seasons so the next cards are going to be couple cards so let's see what type of relationship oh my goodness you two will create yes asia again this is popping once again and i saw this miracle clock 21 12 two is about relationship one is new beginning so this is announcing this new relationship be ready be ready to receive my friend so spending time together just being in nature or being outside and with the cat being here i'm seeing the cat as a, a protector and you could see the cat appearing on these two cards the cat and the rabbit and the bear the bear is related to childhood for me and the rabbit speed luck fortune and we have the wheel of fortune and the cat the protector but also the introverted energy they want to feel safe and i feel like that's also you two wanting to feel safe in a relationship this one is just sitting comfortably but that can also be related to meditation so maybe the one you are wanting to unite is going to meet you um when you do meditation so as souls meeting meeting each other encountering each other in that realm maybe in dreams even but that can also be related to this person loving meditation so on this one summer vibes summer dates especially next to the beach and you can see the beach with the dune appearing on this card so yes that is very connected mm, so just being with it with each other 
I feel like you don't need too much activity. All you need is to be around the person and that is it. That is just satisfying for you. And I think you may love to be around natural areas than just being around a lot of people, for example. Like city environments or things like that. For, for the majority, I feel like you just want a home, you know, or very far from the noise or just having a home next to nature, maybe next to the beach even. But just a natural and peaceful area. That's the vibe. Or that can be talking about the energy between you two. This is a scene at school. And I, oops, I was talking about this now. Or maybe that's in the other group. I'm not too sure. But that can be about teaching each other. Connecting. Wanting to share. Wanting to grow with each other especially. But that can also be... A relationship that is starting with someone in your school or at work or that is teaching you a lot of things as a symbolic and you teaching them as well or well, that can be a professor professor student type of relationship as well <laughs> I heard this music from the rose and the lyrics are she's in the rain so maybe if you listen to this that can also be related to Korea because that's a Korean band. So I'm not sure. Maybe that's a person from Korea. That can be the case. Or that can also be a message that you hear. The lyrics connected to this song from The Rose. And if you want to listen to it, that's The Rose. And the title is Rain, I think. Or She is in the Rain. I'm sure if you type it, you can find it easily on the internet. But I'm seeing The Rain as purification. And the scene being very sensual here. Very intimate. I'm proud to be yours. Oh, that's cute. Engaged? Okay. We're not kidding here. Like, we want commitment. We want marriage. Woo. Love it. Let's grow together. That is totally the vibe. I just love how these cards are just confirming the energy. Let's grow together. And again, you can see the plan. So I feel like this is a nature boy and nature girl here. Learning together. Okay, well, this is this this is definitely clear with the student and professor type of energy in this relationship. So that was it for the cards. I'm going to be using the all the techniques now with the letter. So the letter is going to spread messages. And then the charms and stickers in the box. So let's start with the letter. So first I was picking some zodiac cards, but this is also connected to constellations. So the first one is Cetus. And with the will, I'm seeing this as a jump. And this can also be related to water energy for this card. Yes, Cancer. So Cancer energy, I'm seeing a crystal, so that can also be some healing energy. And Pegasus. And this can also be related to air sign. Air sign, water sign, especially in Cancer. But that can be beyond this, of course. So the message is now, I'm willing to give everything for the rest of your life. I'm willing to give everything for the rest of your life. I have believed that when you appear, I knew that he's you. So recognition. A man who truly loves you will never let you go, no matter how hard the situation is. A man who truly loves you will never let you go, no matter how hard the situation is. Forgetting someone doesn't mean never think of him, but thinking of him with a calm heart.
These can also be places where you are going to meet the person with the messages. Whenever it's sunny or rainy, this is a guardian who will always be there for you. That's beautiful. So maybe you have guardians, angels, maybe your higher self is also pushing you to be with someone. And with the umbrella as a symbolic, this is protection. So very connected. Forget your troubles and have a good meal. Sunny day, delicate life. Forget your troubles and have a good meal. Sit down and have a rest. Flower lovers! I mean, I told you about this. I feel like, yes, you two are going to be flower lovers. And look at this. Wow, so beautiful. So now the box, the charms and the stickers. POV. That means point of view. That reminds me of, you know, the, the type of video people do on TikTok especially. True. That can be playing in, in French. Playing, point of view. Well, that can be you, that can be... I heard January, so that can also be the month where when you are going to meet the person or when they are born. P, I heard practical. O, obvious, an opportunity. V, I heard Victor as a name. Victoria, victory. The U, I heard Uranus. So that can also be where you two are coming from, from past life's experiences. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with the charms and then the stickers. So the first one is freedom with a bird, as you can see. Freedom, I'm seeing luck with a clover, transformation and change with a butterfly. I'm seeing an opportunity here and this is what I heard with the O. Because the key is here to open a new door, presenting you opportunities. This is air sign for me as a symbolic, how you ventilate yourself. The hat, so that can also be a, fas a fashion item, this person use, um, or that can also be related to the mind connection. And the dog is about fidelity. So this is a type of energy of the person you are attracting. All right. So good night, kiss, kiss. It's kind of like, well done, this cheerful energy. So maybe saying good night to each other before going to sleep. Tokun, tokun. So that's the sound of like the heart, like ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. But that's in Korean. That can also be related. I mean, I heard the rose, Korea. We had on, on the cards, let me show you. Like Asia appearing, I mean, yes, <laughs> I think of you, this couple, kissing each other on the forehead especially, maybe that's something you do or something they will do, that can be someone that is successful on social medias or maybe you are, or that's the plan, um, or I'm seeing this as a picture as well, hmm, I feel this is someone who's going to be surprised of your presence or energy. You can also be a painter with the ink or that can be a writer. Or maybe a technique you need to use to manifest this relationship. Find your way. Find your way. So you may be provided a direction or that can be this person finding you, finally. That is beautiful. So that was it for this reading. I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, if this one was accurate for you. And if you're new, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. If you want, I have other readings with general readings and love readings. And so, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Take good care of your crystal souls. Bye-bye.